now we will see how to implement functions using multiplexers okay we will directly do an example for this so we are giving this f function with a b c as variables and it has been terms 0 2 6 and 7 so this is 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 right so if i would like to implement this function using this 8 to 1 max so I can connect my A, B, C, my input variables to the select lines of this multiplexer. So this is A to 1 multiplexer. And I take this my F output and I connect it directly to the multiplexer input. So 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So this will be giving me an F. For example, if A, B, C is 1, 1, 0, right? So I will be selecting this and I will be connected to output. So my F will be one. So I will be implementing this portion. So later on, if my ABC is zero one zero, right? Then I will be selecting this and I will be implementing this line, right? So basically by changing my input lines, I will be connecting the necessary output of my F function to do my multiplexer input. And from this, I will be selecting it using these variables and I will be connecting it to do F output. So this is how we can implement any function using multiplexer. Okay, so let's do some more examples and then we will better understand how to do this. In this example, I need to implement S output of a full header using 8 to 1 max. So let's write our truth table for this full header. So I have A, B and carry in. So let's say this is S. S is 0 here, 1 here, 1 here, 0 here, 1 here, 0 here, 0 here and 1 here. So how do I implement this sum using 8 to 1 max? Again, I draw my 8 to 1 max. So this is my select lines and I put A here, B here, C, I here. And these are my inputs. And I will be putting 0 here, and 1 here, 1 here, 0 here, 1 here, 0 here, 0 here, and 1 here. Right, so this is 8 to 1 max. And this is my sum out. Note that, so this is like S2, S1, and S0, right? So if you put C, I, B, A, this will not work, right? So this order is important because this is our most significant bit and this is our least significant bit. So anything we put here is our most significant bit and this line here is my least significant bit. So this order is important. So you can see if I put 1, 1, 0, right? So I will be selecting this line here. So my sum will become zero as expected right similarly you can do a carry out implementation using eight to one maxes so basically we can implement any function using this multiplexers so let's do the same thing using four to one max so in this case we will implement s of a full adder using four to one max and some additional gates okay so let's again draw our the truth table okay but in this case we are given only four to one max so this is four to one and we have four inputs only so i cannot use this eight outputs right away because i have only four inputs what i will be doing i will be grouping this into two so if i will be connecting a and b here okay then i might group my input lines into two so this is where a and b is zero zero this is zero one one zero one one since i don't have eight inputs i am only using two of my inputs a and b as my select lines now if this zero zero i am selecting this one and i'm i am looking this case in this case what i see my sum is same as my carry in so in this case i can put my carry in here so this will be my sum because if a and b is zero zero this is my carry in carry in is zero s is zero if carry in is one s is one so then i can directly connect my carry in for the zero zero case for the case of a is zero b is one so this is my case so in this case if carry in is zero s is one if carry in is one s is zero so this is carry in not so if I can connect not of my carry in, I will be getting my sum. For the case of 1, 0, so this is the case. So if my carry in is 0, my S is 1. If my carry in is 1, my S is 0. So this is again carry in not. So I can connect the not of carry in to 
2 and the last case is 1 1 in this case my sum is the same as my carrying so I can connect carrying here so by using a 4 to 1 max and one additional inverter I was able to implement the S function for the full header let's do another example in this example we will implement a majority logic function with three variables a b and c and we will implement this function using 4 to 1 max and some additional gates so majority logic means for example if we have three variables a b and c if i have 0 1 1 so the majority of my inputs are 1 so my output should be 1 but if i have something like 0 0 1 in this case the majority of my inputs is 0 right so my output should be 0 so let's write down the truth table so for the first case 0 0 0 the majority of my inputs is 0 so my output is 0 for the second case the majority of my inputs is 0 so my output is 0 for the third case the majority of the inputs is 0 and for this case the majority of the inputs is 1 and for this case the majority of the inputs are 0 and we have a 1 here 1 here and 1 here now we need to implement this f function using a 4 to 1 max so here is our 4 to 1 max so in this case we have only two select lines and we connect a and b here since i am using a and b as my select lines i need to group two lines together so this is the case for a and b 0 0 so this is the case for a and b 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now i need to look at this case right this is the first case and in this case my output f does not depend on my c input and it is directly zero so i can connect zero here now let's look at the second case in the second case what i see my c and my f is equal if c is zero my f is zero if c is one f is one so i can connect c here right so this is zero one two and three now let's look at the third case in this case as you see my c and f output is the same so i can connect c here finally let's look at the last case in this case my output is one one so i will be connecting one here so using a four to one max i was able to implement the majority logic function and i didn't need it any additional gates now let's do a final example with the multiplexers so in this example f is given with four variables and we need to implement f using four to one max and two additional gates so let's write down our truth table so in this example we have a one here we have a one here and we have a one for the case of 15 and all the others are zero so we need to implement this using a four to one max so here is our four to one max since i have only two select lines i need to connect a and b here now i have to group my lines in the truth table with a group of four so this is one group this is another group this is another group and now this is the case for a and b zero zero this is the case for a and b zero one so this is the case for one zero and this is the case for one one so now for the first case i need to find out f in terms of c and d so for this case my f is given by c naught so for the first line i need to connect c naught where a and b zero zero so in the second case i see my f is zero and it does not depend on c and d so i can connect zero here and for the third case again i see my f is zero so i can connect zero here and finally for the last case what i see my f is given by c and d so what i can do i can put an end gate here and i can connect c and d so so this is how we can implement a four variable function using a four to one max